Well, many small businesses were hit hard by the pandemic, including minority-owned local shops here in the Miami Valley. 2 News reporter Madeline Ashley continues our team coverage of Small Business Saturday with the struggles minority small business owners face and their push to shop local. On the second Small Business Saturday of the pandemic, Dayton entrepreneur and small business advocate Tay Winston shedding light on the struggles faced by minority small business owners. The pandemic hit minority small businesses the hardest. Like many minority small business owners, Winston says giving back to the community a key part in local shop owning. But the pandemic hasn't made that easy. We, we've just been struggling. We've done everything we could. I know for me, I've just been very creative trying to host events and, you know, on top of still trying to give back and keep my doors open. So minority small businesses need the support right now more than ever. According to the U.S. Senate Committee on Small Businesses and Entrepreneurship, though minorities make up 32% of the population, they own just 18% of small businesses. We don't have a lot of big funding coming in from um, investors or, you know, we just don't have that support that bigger companies have. Funding for Winston stores out of her pocket only and the pandemic creating further strain. I know for me, um, my stores come exactly from my pockets only. So um, when the pandemic hit and things sl slowed down, it affected me very hard because I'm living off of my dream and my finances only. From customer care to helping out small businesses in your community, Winston encouraging people to shop local, not just this small business Saturday, but whenever you can. You coming to shop with us 24 seven is keeping those doors open and giving these vendors more hope. In Dayton, Madeline Ashley, two news working for you.